Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here, and today is a wonderful day. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, it's a three-day weekend for me, and Dawn is finally back in the Pokemon anime after a nine-year absence. Our girl Dawn has returned. And, oh boy, this is some pretty big news. Obviously, we kind of figured that, you know, some older companions would definitely be coming back in. We got some confirmation that, yeah, we are definitely going to see more and more older characters, especially traveling companions of Ash, show up in the series of Pokemon Journeys. So along with the trailer that we got for the upcoming arc with Dawn returning in the Cresselia and Darkrai arc in Sinnoh, we also got a synopsis, which Delfinder at Cerebi translated it. So we knew that these episodes were coming, we knew that there was an arc going on in Sinnoh, which is pretty cool, because most of our arcs have been taking place in Galar, so it's pretty cool to have a two-episode arc outside of Galar, so awesome, good job, Pokemon Journeys team. <laughs> but anyways, um, the first episode airs on July 23rd, so mark your calendars, Dawn returns on July 23rd to the Pokemon anime. In episode 74, titled Dark Cries Midsummer Night's Dream, Whereas episode 75, which airs on July 30th, is titled Cresselia's Midsummer Night's Light. Interesting. So anyways, a special summer arc of Pocket Monsters is going to air on July 23rd, 30th. Dawn and her partner, Pipluff, from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, are going to appear for the first time in about nine years. In addition, key visuals focusing on Dawn and Pipluff, as well as, as a promo video teasing a story centering around the mythical Pokemon Darkrai and the legendary Pokemon Cresselia, have been revealed. The story will involve Ash and Go learning that the inhabitants of a town in the Sinnoh region are being plagued by nightmares, to the point they can't sleep which leads them to suspecting Darkrai, a Pokemon with the ability to give others nightmares as they head into town to research the matter. In the meantime, Koharu decides to take her partner, Eevee, with her and travel to the Sinnoh region by herself after the Sakuraki family vacation there got cancelled. The Sakuraki's family's vacation there got cancelled. Koharu and Eevee are really excited to be traveling alone for the first time ever as they head to Haikotai City. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure which city that is, so I'll look that up in just a second. <laughs> but anyways, um, where a Pokemon contest is going to be held. And on the way, they encounter Ash's former travel mates, Dawn and Pipluff. In the promo video, we see a Darkrai on the night of the new moon, seemingly being enticed by something or other. As well as a wounded Cresselia lying on, in a forest. It's time for Ash and Go's, as well as Dawn and Kohoro's adventures relating to these two Pokemon to begin. So I gotta say, I'm actually really excited for these episodes. This is probably the most excited I've been in the Pokemon anime for a long time. Not saying that Iris and Gary returning was not as hype as this, but I am just super excited by everything that I just read here, because this is pointing to a pretty good arc, a pretty amazing one in my opinion. This could be actually one of the best arcs within Journeys so far. In fact, it could actually end up being the best one at this point because of everything that's going on here. So, obviously, let's talk about Dawn. I am super excited for Dawn to return. Obviously, I want to know what she's been up to since she left the series, but there's just so much going on here that I just love. The first thing I want to mention is that we're getting a two-episode arc, at least two episodes, I should say. Who knows, we could actually get three episodes, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to be two episodes. And Dawn is going to be in both episodes. So, the first thing I like here is the fact that we're getting, you know, more than one episode with a prior character returning. Obviously, Gary was in two episodes, but his second episode was a cameo. But Dawn is going to be a major focus in this arc with her returning. And I just like the fact that she's going to be in two episodes. With everybody else, like Iris and then the Alola gang minus Lily, they've only appeared in one episode so far in Journeys. And I like the fact that we're getting two episodes with Dawn. It gives me hope that characters like Clement, Bonnie, Serena, Ash and Misty, and possibly May. I don't know, you know, I know her VA retired from the industry, but if May does return, I'm hoping that they get more than one episode. Because with some of the previous episodes, especially the Alola episode, the, that episode really needed to be a two-parter. That whole Alola Alola episode should have been split into two episodes because one episode was just not enough. I just love the fact that we're getting two episodes with Dawn. That's pretty awesome. So the second thing I like about this upcoming arc is the fact that Kohoru is going to be a major player within it. 
That is awesome. She hasn't been involved in a single arc within Journeys up to this point, so it's pretty cool to see that she's going to have a major role within this arc. But I like her premise within this arc. I actually really like it a lot because it shows her growth as a character throughout Journeys. Because in the beginning of the Journeys, she didn't care about traveling, she didn't really care about Pokemon, she just was very indifferent to all that stuff and she just didn't care. But we see here that she's actually changed quite a bit because Ash and Go are traveling all the time and eventually Kohoru got interested in that and eventually some of the trips that Ash and Go have been on are thanks to Kohoru and her idea and it's you know, her idea to go to certain places like that trip they took to Galar a while back. That was Kohoru. And we kind of see that here, but with Kohoru actually acting on her own, as her family was supposed to go to Sinnoh on a family vacation. But it got cancelled, so Kohoru's like, screw that, I'm going to go on my own. Ash and Go go on these trips without me all the time, I'm going to do my own thing, I'm going to go on my own trip. So, that is awesome, I love that. So the third thing I like about this upcoming arc is the fact that Kohoru is meeting Dawn, a previous traveling companion of Ash. I think that that is amazing. It was a bit of a missed opportunity with Kohoru not meeting Iris or the Alola gang minus Lily. Obviously these characters could return in the future and Kohoru could eventually meet them, but that's to be seen. But I love the fact that Kohoru is meeting Dawn here. I think that is awesome and the cool thing here is that she's meeting Dawn before Ash and Go come into the picture. So Kohoru is meeting Dawn not realizing that she knows Ash. And I think that's pretty cool. I also like the fact that it seems like they're becoming quick friends within this trailer. So that's awesome. So we get to see the two interact. And maybe Dawn will teach Kohoro a thing or two about goals and her dreams in the future. Because Kohoro currently doesn't have a goal. She doesn't want to. She doesn't know what she wants to do in life. So it's going to be pretty cool if maybe Dawn talks to her. Maybe tells her about her times traveling with Ash. Maybe talks about her experiences. And I, yeah, I think that... This could actually inspire Kohoru. Maybe she wants to do contests. Maybe she wants to do performances. Maybe she wants to go in a different path and maybe do research. Maybe not like her father, but something else. But who knows? There's a lot of things that Kohoru could do in the future. So meeting Dawn could actually inspire her to follow her dreams, whatever they may be. Another thing I'm looking forward to in this upcoming arc is Matori and her gang. The Matori Matrix are making a reappearance here. They already appeared once in Pokemon Journey so far but they're making a second appearance here within this arc. You know, that was a single episode before, this is an arc this time around. So I'm excited to see their role in this arc and what they're trying to do and what they're scheming here. I just hope it's executed better than how they were handled in the Necrozma arc. Because I don't know about you guys, but I wasn't a big fan of them in that arc. They were executed poorly in my opinion, so I'm hoping the same thing doesn't happen here. I think I'm hoping that they're executed well here. And yeah. <laughs> also, I hope that we get some flashbacks from the Diamond and Pearl series in the Journey style. We got that in the Iris episode, so I'm hoping we get that here. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're going to get it. We've had flashbacks to previous series before, so the same is probably going to happen here. And eventually when we get other characters returning to the series. So yeah, let's uh, look forward to these flashbacks when we see them in the episode. Now before I close the video off, I wanted to talk about the poster for just a second. We saw it at the beginning of the video, but the poster here, I find it to be pretty interesting because in most of the posters for Pokemon Journeys, Ash and Go are the central characters. But this time around, they're in the background. It's Dawn that's front and center, and Kohoro is the second most prominent character here. Obviously they're highlighting Dawn's return, but it makes me think that Kohoro and Dawn are going to be the prominent characters within this arc. And that while Ash and Go are definitely going to play a role within this arc, it's going to be Kohoro and Dawn that are going to be the main stars here. I could be looking into this a little bit too much, but that's the vibes I'm getting from this poster. So I'm interested to see what everybody's involvement is going to be in this arc when it comes to the legendary Pokemon. And Team Rocket, obviously. Oh, and can we appreciate Kohoro's clothes within this arc? I gotta say, I'm loving them. Obviously, Queen has to dress in style, but all jokes aside, I'm loving her design within this arc, and hopefully this is not the only time we see this design within Journeys, because it's, it's pretty awesome. Alrighty, guys, that's all I got for this video, so get hyped, everyone. July 23rd is the day that Dawn returns to the Pokemon anime, and hopefully this arc delivers. From what I'm reading so far and what I'm seeing so far, this looks like this is going to be a pretty good arc, and possibly 
the best arc within Pokemon Journey so far. So in the comments section down below, I want to hear your thoughts. Are you excited for Dawn's Return of the Pokemon anime? And since other characters are basically conf all but confirmed to be coming to the Pokemon Journey series, who do you want to see next come? We've got you know, the Lola Gang minus Lily, Iris, and Gary. They've returned so far. So who do you want to see next come to the Pokemon Journey series? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys later. Get hype, folks. Remember the day, July 23rd, 2021. The day Dawn returns to the Pokemon anime. See you guys later.